Ranger 8 was launched on February 17, 1965 at 5.05 p.m. UTC from Launch Complex 12 at Cape Canaveral. While its structure, launcher, and the broad sense of its mission, to take thousands of photos of a particular site on the moon on its way to impacting into the moon, was the same as the successful Ranger 7 probe and also Ranger 9, Ranger 8 had the special distinction of taking photos of the Sea of Tranquility where Apollo 11 would aim to land. Mare Tranquillitatis, as it is sometimes referred to in Latin, was the initial goal of Ranger 7 as well, but that had to be changed due to launch timing. So, even more than four years before Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin landed there, it was the prime goal for an eventual landing. This was largely because of visibility from the Earth and perceived flatness of the terrain. The other key location, and the landing site of the first surveyor mission, was the Ocean of Storms, or Oceanus Procellarum. Surveyor 3 would also land in the Ocean of Storms and would be visited by Apollo 12. The third successful surveyor mission, Surveyor 5, landed at the Sea of Tranquility in 1967. Surveyors 2 and 4 failed. Ranger 8 captured 7,137 photos of the surface of the moon in its final 23 minutes using six cameras, two wide-angle cameras and four narrow ones. Each set of cameras had its own power and transmitters to ensure that if one set failed, the other still had a chance. The 367 kilogram spacecraft did not carry any other science, and it impacted the moon at a velocity of around 2,600 meters per second, or roughly 6,000 miles an hour, a small impact compared to what the moon was used to, but it paved the way to a small step that would change the world. Thanks for watching this mission profile of Ranger 8.